Hi everyone, welcome. Um, today I just felt to, to, God put it in my heart actually, to talk about when, when you're coming before His presence, sometimes there's going to be voices that try to distract you. And um, I can think of one time I was listening to a preaching of Juanita Bynum, it's called No More Sheets. And she talks about how in the church she had, she had, you know, been sleeping around with some of the men in the church. And um, she says that she wanted to lift up hands to God to worship him. But she had already repented for what she had done. But she said that as she looked around the church, she was like, I felt like I couldn't lift up my hands to worship God because these men were judging me like, oh, I've nowhere, I'm, I know where you've been. Like, I know you do. Like, now you're going to lift up your hands like a hypocrite type thing. So that kind of like wanted, like that kind of like burdened her to, to worship God. And she was like, all I want to do is worship God. But she goes, but I feel like the opinions of others, the voices of others, it's it's completely demonic and that's what the enemy does he puts voices he 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 makes you feel like you can't worship god and and even that skit if you if you guys know the skit that a lot of churches a drama that a lot of churches pr um, play that there's a girl walking with jesus and she's super happy but the, the enemy comes and tempts her with alcohol and uh with prostitution and then trying to kill herself and then she like all these demons are tormenting her and by the end when she wants to come back to god like the devils don't let her like they're pushing her away they're pushing her away and she tries and she tries to run to him but they keep pushing her back and the only way she can finally come to him is when he steps in and he rebukes them because he sees her desire for him. And, and you know, when I came back to God, it was kind of like that. I felt like I couldn't come back to God. And it was the fact that he stepped in because he saw the desire that I had for him. So he was the one that was able to to take me out of that pit. So I was I was trying to worship God and I was like, man, God, you know, sometimes when when we worship God, there's always, I mean, the devil's never going to try and make it easy for you to worship God. So sometimes when you want to worship God, there's going to be distractions. And But this is not mostly about distractions. This is mostly about the things that you've done in your past. People say like, oh, how can you worship God? Or, oh, how can you do the will of God when you did this or when you're doing this or when you fell into this? And they'll try and put a burden and, and that's completely demonic. So the only voice that you should be striving to hear is that one, the voice of he that will not judge you, the voice of he who has forgiven you, the voice of he who is longing to bring peace into your heart. You know, so don't worry about the other voices. Ignore all of the other voices because all of the other voices, their purpose is for you to ignore the voice of the one that really matters. So what you have to do is ignore all the voices that want to take you away from your beloved and just surrender to your beloved, to your God Almighty and let his peace and his spirit and his love fill you. I, I felt to, to speak that today. So I hope you received. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. God bless.